Once upon a delightful day in the whimsical world of make-believe, Mr. McFeely, the friendly mailman from Daniel Tiger's neighborhood, found himself on an extraordinary adventure. His trusty red delivery truck rumbled along the winding roads, carrying letters and packages to all the familiar faces in the neighborhood. But this day was different. As Mr. McFeely rounded a corner, he spotted a sleek black limousine parked outside a bakery. Curious, he hopped out of his truck and peeked inside. To his surprise, there sat Mr. Big, the infamous crime lord from Zootopia. Sipping espresso and nibbling on cannoli. Ah, Mr. McFeely. Mr. Big's gravelly voice greeted him. Fancy meeting you here. Come, join me for a pastry. Mr. McFeely hesitated. He knew of Mr. Big's reputation, the shrew who ruled Tundra Town with an iron paw. But curiosity got the better of him, and he settled into the plush seat across from the mob boss. As they chatted over flaky cannoli, Mr. McFeely discovered that Mr. Big had a soft spot for pastries. In fact, he secretly moonlighted as a baker at his grandmother's bakery. The same bakery where Fru Fru, Mr. Big's daughter, Learn to knead dough and whip up delectable treats. Meanwhile, in the heart of Daniel Tiger's neighborhood, Chrissy, the spirited little girl, skipped along the cobblestone streets. She loved exploring, and today, her adventures led her to the neighborhood library. There, she stumbled upon a dusty old book, a guide to the secret tunnels connecting different fictional worlds. Chrissy's eyes widened as she read about the magical passages that link Daniel Tiger's neighborhood to Zootopia. Could it be true? Could she really step from one storybook world to another? Determined, Chrissy gathered her courage and stepped into the nearest tunnel. The air shimmered, and suddenly, she found herself in Tundra Town. Surrounded by towering ice sculptures and bustling shrews. And who should greet her but Fru Fru herself, wearing a tiny apron and flower dusted paws? Welcome, Chrissy! Fru Fru exclaimed. I've been waiting for you. Let's bake something magical together. And so, Chrissy and Fru Fru became fast friends. They whipped up cannoli, shared stories, and giggled as they sprinkled powdered sugar on their noses. Fru Fru confided in Chrissy about her father's double life, the crime lord who moonlighted as a baker. Back in Zootopia, Mr. McFeely and Mr. Big continued their unlikely friendship. They exchanged letters, coded messages hidden in envelopes, and met in secret at the bakery. Mr. McFeely even helped deliver a special package to Fru Fru a batch of freshly baked pastries that held secret notes for her father. One sunny afternoon, the four friends gathered at the bakery. Mr. McFeely, Chrissy, Fru Fru, and Mr. Big sat around a table laden with treats. The mailman shared stories of Daniel Tiger's neighborhood, while Mr. Big regaled them with tales of the Zootopian underworld. Family and friends, Mr. Big said, raising his cannoli. That's what truly matters. With these things, you will never feel small. And so, in this delightful crossover of worlds, Mr. McFeely, Chrissy, Fru Fru, and Mr. Big forged an unbreakable bond. They laughed, they baked, and they discovered that friendship could bridge even the wildest of fictional realms. And as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow on the bakery window, they toasted to their newfound family, a mailman, a little girl, a crime lord, and a pastry-loving shrew. For in the magical tunnels that connected their worlds, anything was possible, even friendship that defied all odds. Glowing star love letter donut.